Okay, all the devices are cleared away, and we have this dip meter on the table. So what we have to do is move it on the table where we had the inductor device until the dial lines up zero to zero, then flip it up and measure the dip angle. So at this point on this table, it has a value of roughly 68 as the dip. The dip at Glendale, Arizona should be about 59 degrees, so there's a difference here. What we've found in the lab rooms is the dip angle is different on every single table. So there's a possibility that we have magnetic uh, fields in play because of currents in the room or nearby devices, or there are ghosts dancing on the tabletop. You take your pick. 